Hey, what's up, guys? So have you heard of Aces Global Press Conference or the GPC? It's Aces' biggest event where we unveil all of our latest products and innovations. And this year is happening on June 23rd at 2 p.m. And you can catch a live stream of it over on YouTube, Facebook, even LinkedIn. We'll leave all the links in the description below. This usually happens in April and May, and it usually happens in New York. But this year, things had to change. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> this year it's going to be an online event, a live stream coming all the way from Taipei. And you may be wondering what kind of things you can expect to see. But we can't talk about the new without first talking about the old, so let's take a look back at Ace's most iconic products. Let's take the ultra-thin Swift 7 for starters. In 2016, the Swift 7 was announced and the world said hello to the skinniest laptop ever, measuring in at less than a centimetre thin, which is pretty crazy. And in recent years, we've really been competing with ourselves, so let's take a look back at that. In 2017, we had the SF713 and that measured in at 9.98 millimetres. And in 2018, we had the SF714 measuring in at a tiny 8.98 millimetres. In 2019, we had the SF715, which measured in at 9.95 millimeters, a slight increase, but this allowed for a 15 inch screen and a lightweight design that weighed in only 890 grams, which is crazy. What do you think we can expect to see this year? Personally, I don't think we're gonna see another record breaker because I think it's thinnest. That was, that was insane. We can't see anything thinner than that, surely. I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing one, but that's crazy. What I think we can afford to see are some bigger screens, still an affordable laptop, and still that classic lightweight design. But what do you think? Let me know. Also in 2016, we had the Acer Predator 21X and it was awarded the most exciting gaming laptop of the year. Um, do you remember the biggest, the heaviest, the most expensive gaming laptop ever? Because that's what it was. <laughs> and if you don't remember, I will describe it to you. It had a 21 inch display, it had a curved screen, it had two graphics cards, it had an overclockable desktop CPU, and it had a mechanical keyboard, of course. <laughs> it had everything, and not to mention the case that it came in. It wasn't even a case, it was, it was a literal suitcase that would look more at home housing an atomic bomb. And actually, I think it's still available to buy online if you can afford a down payment on a house. <laughs> so there's that. In the same year of 2016, Acer was shaking things up with his first eye tracking monitor in the form of the Predator XB271. This was a gaming monitor with built-in eye tracking to make for a really immersive gaming experience. Let's go to one year later. It's 2017 and Acer's GPC is in New York and they've just announced the brand new Swift 3 with added NVIDIA graphics. But most importantly, it now also comes in pink. The GPC that year wasn't just focused on laptops, however. We were also introduced to Acer's brand new premium tablet in the form of the Acer Switch 5. With a shared fingerprint reader power button located on the side, a quad HD display and a backlit detachable keyboard, this device really had the ultimate ease of use, whether you were using it as a notebook or as a tablet. Acer also introduced us to their brand new smartwatch, which had all the usual smartwatch features like a heart rate monitor, but its face was also protected by Corning Gorilla Glass SR. In 2018, we met in Berlin. Acer announced the Chromebook 15, a large 15.6 inch screen paired with a battery life of up to 14 hours and all at a budget friendly price. In this event, there were also two premium 13 inch Chromebooks announced focused around business use. One year ago in 2019, Acer launched the next generation of laptops, powerful gaming devices, and introduced a brand new creator range to the market. Some of the standouts of that year were the Chromebook 714 and the 715 with their lightweight nature, strong security approach, and being powered by Chrome OS. Possibly the biggest highlight of 2019, however, was the launch of Concept D to the market because this was, well, it was a brand new concept uh, designed specifically with creators in mind, boasting top end specifications, focusing on color gamut and powerful graphics performance, all set in a premium and unique design. 2019 also welcomed in the release of the Acer Predator Helios 300, one of my favorite laptops ever, which gave us a high quality gaming experience without the high price tag. And not to forget its brother, the large and in charge Helios 700, which surprised us with a sliding keyboard to reveal a powerful cooling system within the chassis. I could go on because honestly for me 2019 has some really exciting products, but what can we expect from this year, from the 2020 showcase? Well, I mentioned the Swift family earlier and something tells me there might be some new additions to that family this year. The Swift has really been Acer's hero skew, providing a crisp display, a competitive price, a powerful performance and with loads of additional features like a fingerprint reader and an easy to use touchscreen. And recently, AMD have also announced some impressive CPUs. So something tells me there could be a whole lineup to complete this already very large portfolio. Chromebooks will definitely see a refresh in my opinion. These devices are super popular, especially within the field of education due to their robust nature and their security features, and especially so in the US. In the UK, I still think they deserve more attention, what with their competitive price and good performance. And well, this part is mainly due to the optimization of the Chrome OS, but their spectacular battery life, I mean, come on. 
They could do with thinner bezels though. Let's not forget about displays. One of the biggest breakthroughs of last year was championed by the Triton 500 with its whopping 300 hertz screen. And I think this year we can expect to see some 300 hertz monitors in all shapes and sizes. Now a 4K 300 hertz screen, and that would be something, wouldn't it? What else can we expect to see in the world of gaming? Well, we already have the very powerful Helios's, unparalleled in cooling and performance, but slightly on the bulkier and heavier side. And then we have the Tritons, still powerful, but in a sleek and light chassis. Now, how to make them more affordable? I wonder if AMD could help out. And let's not forget about the Orions, Predator's beloved gaming desktop. I think it could use a little bit of TLC. Maybe, I don't know, with super graphics cards and even more powerful CPUs. But I don't know. And last but by no means least, the Concept E range. Now, if I were a creator, I would want even more touchscreens and Concept D9 Pro had this amazing Wacom stylus. If only we could get to see more of that. Anyway, that's all from me. Gosh, I wish I could just tell you what's gonna happen, but I can't. All I can do is speculate. So yeah, I wonder what we're gonna see. <laughs> no matter what we'll see, I will record it as soon as possible to show you guys here on the UK channel. So don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to watch the live stream, June 23rd at 2 p.m. All the links are down below. I will see you there. Bye-bye.